My wife says it's time to either clean up all this junk in the barn or hide it. So, like any good responsible husband, in today's video, I'm gonna build barn doors so I can hide it. Hey everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm, and it's been a minute or two since I've done any work to the barn project. By the time I had the project mostly done, winter was over and I had turned my attention to other things. So in this video, I'm gonna finally build some doors for the front of the barn and put up a little bit of trim. The doors are basically gonna be made of the same material that I used to side the barn, which is smart siding. Uh, vertical groove, uh, T111, whatever you want to call it, siding. And the pieces that are specifically going to be used as the doors are right there leaning up against the side of the barn. That's what I cut out of these spots right here. I also have a full piece of siding here that I need to rip down the center and actually take just a little bit off of the edge that will complete both doors. And in case you were wondering, the opening size is nine feet. So I need to mark this to 92 and a quarter inches. In order to work out like it's supposed to and I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now it's a little bit windy today so I'm sorry if the microphone is picking up all the wind blowing hopefully it's not too bad now we just cut on the line I also have to rip this down the center, so I'll throw a couple two by fours underneath it. Just to keep my blade off the trailer floor. Good news is panels have these grooves on them. There's that groove. 24 inches in the center. Just cut right down that groove. Okay. So since this trailer provides me with a somewhat flattish surface, I'm gonna use it to build my doors. Actually what I'm gonna do is lay out the two by fours, get them spaced out how I want them, then lay the panels down on top and nail it all together. And the type of nails I'm gonna use are one and a half inch galvanized nails. I'm not gonna be shooting them with a gun because I do not wanna blow through the paneling. So. I'm going to try to not hit the paneling and damage it with a hammer. <clears throat> so, I'm going to lay that out, start figuring out where I'm going to put things. Figuring out the first one is generally the most difficult part for me, anyway. So I've laid the first door out here facing down, and I'm just trying to get my layout, I guess I'm doing my designing and my planning right now. I'm trying to decide where everything should go.
So here's my dilemma. I'm afraid that if I put this board in here, that I'll end up making the door too heavy, but that if I don't, then I'll end up with some waves in the door. So, not 100% sure what to do. I think I may pull this board out and then run a couple cross pieces just to give it a little bit more rigidity. I think that makes the most sense. So now that I have an idea of where I want everything to lay out, I'm going to flip this bottom board over and mark where I will have the other boards you know, meeting up. Basically, almost like marking out a wall for studs. Okay, so I went ahead and ran it through a few screws through this to just kind of hold everything together. I'll add my cross pieces later, but what we do is we lay this out just like we would if we were putting on siding. Again, I have one and a half inch galvanized siding nails. I'm gonna put these on, get everything secured. Probably would have been okay to use some construction adhesive here as well, but I did not. Maybe we'll lay down the second piece here. I'm a whole lot more concerned with it being lined up at the bottom than I am at the top because I'm gonna have trim up here. You'll see what I'm gonna do at the bottom here in just a moment. Okay, so here we have one door, mostly assembled. I've just got to cut the pieces for the bottom and then get them put on. So here's the door, and this is what I'm doing at the bottom. I have a two by 10 and a two by eight that are pressure treated. And I basically, which I'll show you this here in a second, but I put some uh, boards on the back side of this to hold them on and to secure them, then I also nailed uh, this top board on, it's got two inches or so of space here to go up behind the siding for this door. And I secured them from the front and from the back. And here you can see what I did on the back. Again, on the framing, I just took a board and attached it. And I, I ran screws this time to hold everything together there. I'm actually pretty happy with uh, the spaces there. I don't seem to have any bowing or flexing issues that I was concerned about here. I'm not having supports in the center, but I do have this door propped up against the barn right now, and unfortunately that's where it's going to have to stay. As my projects usually do, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. I had in my mind the way that I wanted to do it, and then, you know, sometimes you start laying stuff out and you run into some issues. So that generally happens to me. I'm not always one of those people that sits down with a piece of paper and sketches things out. And I did not on this, I, I, like I said, kind of had it in my head what I wanted to do. So I spent most of my time today trying to figure out how to make this work. So I'm gonna have to finish this later. And if you've watched the channel very much, you know that we'll finish this later is generally how the way things go around here. So that's what it's gonna have to be, I guess. 
So if you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet, please do me a favor and hit that like button. And as always, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.